can't get his debut goal. But Maguire still got it, and he's gone in eventually. 2 1 in the 80th minute, Sean Maguire. What's good guys, welcome to episode 2 of the Press and North End Career Mode. We ended off last episode with two solid wins, one against Millwall away our first game of the season. We won 2-1 with a latish goal by Maguire and again we come back from being 2-1 down after going 1-0 up to Wigan at home and we won 3-2 with once again another late goal, kind of late. I think it was the 70th minute but Maguire come big for us once again. Before we get into any serious gameplay or transfer business, I wanted to start off with we had Derby at home in the cup, so basically I don't really care about cup competitions. The FA Cup maybe, but for this one I wanted to start a weakish team, our second team against Derby, and we ended up losing 2-0. I'm not really affected by that, I don't really care about it. However, I do want to move on to more important things. As you can see in my shortlist, I had Adam Nielsen and Lewis Graben. I wanted one of them and I decided to go with Adam Nielsen. He's not really the most prolific of goal scorers, but he fits all the categories I want as a striker. He's fast, he's skillful, and he's got something about him. And I realise he's probably cheaper than grabbing for now anyway. So I decided to put Jaden Stockley up in there, and I didn't really want to do that because I do like Stockley. But on FIFA, I'm never going to use him. He's not in any of my plans. So I decided to bring in somebody who's faster, a little bit more skillful, and fits the style of player that I want to play, which is fast counter-attacking football. In Wales, in Swansea, at the Liberty Stadium. I feel like this is our first real test to see where we are right now. Millwall, I'd say, are a mid-table team. In this game, at least, anyway. Wigan, probably relegation fodder, like they're on real life. It's a very good ball to Lekos. Okay, he's tried tackling him. Lekos held it up very well. He needs to keep the ball here. Maguire to Alan Brown, and that is a, an awful shot on his left foot. I feel like it needs to be a lot better. No gaps really creating. Johnson's found his way into one here. On to Scott Sinclair against his old club. And he's going to celebrate. He is straight, in, straight into the press and fearful. And that right there is an absolutely massive goal against Swansea. Daniel Johnson has done brilliantly there. And on the left foot of Scott Sinclair. Straight across the goalkeeper. It's a brilliant finish. And he gets off his second goal of the season. Two in two games. Oh, clearly. It's a ball straight across. No one's there. And Declan Rudd didn't seem safe, did it? But he's got it. He's been caught out. Dwayne Johnson's trying to recover here. And he's not put the ball in the box for some reason. Oh, but that's a very good ball. What a save by Declan Rudd. What a save. To deny Fulton from almost point, on, point blank. He's been caught that's out. That's a very here. good reaction. Bowers being beat. It's a ball straight across centre and it's always going in from there, isn't it? The defending just was not good enough at all. And it's another game where we go a goal up and concede. First half over. I'd say they've been the better team. We've both had chances. But we just took our bomb and scores a chance to run at his defender. He beats him. Gives the ball to Daniel Johnson. Oh, and he hits it on his right. I was not expecting that and that's a quality strike, isn't it? Adam Olsen, Adam Olsen, right, fuck it. That's a brilliant turn, isn't it? Oh, and he's hit the post. And he's missed it, oh my god. How is he, he didn't shoot first time, and he's talking very heavy talk. Oh. And that's just not how you want to start your career, is oh, it? Oh, Fish has been absolutely awful recently. He's given everything to them, he can't find a pass. Oh, Declan Rudd with a quality save. He can't miss this, can he? Adam Nielsen is how you say his name. I finally... And Scott Sinclair! He gets his second of the game against his old club. And that just felt so lucky to him, hasn't it? It's a good first save. I think by the keeper. I was trying to cross it across goal. And I think the keeper just pushed it into the defender and it's come straight back out to Sinclair. That's massive. And again, we should probably be losing. Alan Brown gets there. Uh, oh, he keeps the ball. It's quality. That's 
fucking awful cross. <laughs> we don't care about that. Another 2 1 win. Three in a row. And this was the biggest out of the three. After another solid win, I decided that we do need an actual goal scorer who can prolifically score goals and has done it in the past to get us out of this league. And Dwight Gale, I wanted him on loan to begin with, but there was no chance I was getting him on loan. So I decided I was going to splash the cash, like I think we should do in real life, and just go for it with Dwight Gale. It's a bit of a risk because he is known to be injury prone, but we ended up picking him up. And as you can see, he's, he's, he's not the best, but for this level, he's good enough. He will be one of the best strikers in the league, if not the best striker in the league, like he has been for the past with the likes of West Brom, Newcastle. And he knows how to get teams out of this division, which is exactly what I need right now. So going into the next game, it was against Stoke. We're sat in around 4th and they're sat about 10th. However, it is still really early doors, so I kind of feel it's unfair to judge them a free game. I mean, I'm going to go into this game thinking as if it's a massive game and try and get all three points. The starting 11 that we're going with, it's more or less unchanged. With the exception of Dwight Gale, who's going to be starting up front. We've got Rudd in there, Hughes, Davis, Bauer, Fisher at the back, Johnson, Pearson, Brown in the middle, Sinclair on the left, Gale up top, and Maguire on the right. Daniel Johnson with a nice ball into the box to Dwight Gale. He brings it over to his left, he decides to go on his right, I think he just kicks the ball into the player and he's gone down. And this isn't looking good for Dwight Gale. Darnell Fisher has the ball. He's still trying to go forward with it. However, it seems like he needs to stop and Dwight Gale cannot carry on. It seems like he's gone down holding his leg. It might have been contact with a player. Nobody knows just yet how the referee is waving him off. And it looks like we're going to have to make a sub. I do believe Adam Ilson was brought on just after this. Fisher with a nice ball down to Maguire who's working well with Brown. It's a lovely ball back into Maguire. He sees the run of Adam Ilson. He plays it into him. And Adam Ilson with a brilliant finish. And just as Dwight Gale goes off and Adam Ilson does come on, he gets his his first goal for Preston and the goal itself was created with some wonderful play. Darnell Fisher played a ball into Maguire who worked well with Brown. He plays a wonderful ball into Adam Ilson with an exquisite finish to put it over the goalkeeper and the defender and that is the exact type of football that I want us to be playing. In all fairness, the game was quite boring with few opportunities. However, Stork had one here with Kachunga. It's a good ball in. However, Darnell Fisher beats McLean to it. Not long after, there's another chance. However, it's for us. Maguire on the right. Some lovely link-up play to Johnson. Johnson to Adam Wilson. Back to Maguire. Maguire can't miss from here. Surely, he tries to beat the goalkeeper at his near post and it hits the post. And for a striker in such fine form, you'd think he'd be scoring from there. Our next opportunity comes from a free kick only 21 yards away from the start goal. Daniel Johnson with a shot. He tries to put it in the far right corner. However, Jack Butland is too big. Stork have the ball in a wide area as Klukas tries to find the head of Hogan. It's punched out by Declan Rudd only to go to Scott Sinclair gives it to Daniel Johnson. And Joe Allen tackles Johnson with ease, passes the ball back to Ince. It's some lovely build up play and Ince has got all the time in the world to shoot and he finds the back of the net with his shot and that is one that would not go down well with Preston fans I can tell you that. A former Blackpool man scoring at Deepdale and it looks like he's celebrating in front of the fans. This would not go down well at all. But it was bad marking Daniel Johnson should have cleared his lines it's kind of fundamental stuff and Tom into a brilliant finish to be honest. Maguire has the ball out wide again. He gives it to Adam Wilson who goes back to Maguire and it's some lovely build up play by these two again. Maguire brings it onto his left and he hits it over and it just seems like nothing is working for the boy today. Sinclair has the ball in our own half now. He plays it to Adam Milson, who has all the time in the world to run up Martin Zindi, who isn't the fastest to centre back. He decides to bring it in to Alan Brown. Alan Brown hits it on his left and he falls to Maguire. Maguire scores, but it's from an offside position. And it's just been one of them days for Maguire. Nothing his touches seem to work in front of the goal. Stork had the ball in our final third. Hogan finds Ince with a wonderful pass and Ince. Declan Rudd pulls off some heroics and another. He makes a double save to keep the score equal for us in the last minutes. And we end with a 1 1 draw to Stork, which isn't the worst result in the world considering Dwight Gale's injury but we would have hoped to win this game and now I'm going to be closing out the video however you can see that Dwight Gale did pick up an injury and it's a dislocated shoulder so he will be out for eight weeks it did seem like it was a leg injury especially considering he was holding his leg but I think we'll take that eight weeks is a bit of a while but we can live with him if Adam Wilson and Sean McGuire can provide the goods up top and I'm going to end this episode here please like subscribe and comment any suggestions that you think I can do to make this series better